Hi guys, Coach Valerie here, hashtag Pajama Jam. I've got you a level one workout, and this is a cardio set, so we're gonna be moving kind of fast. You only need two pieces of equipment, your dumbbells and your band. So I have my little four pounders here, and then I have my exercise band. Other than that, once again, we're gonna be moving sort of fast here. So, you, you know, you only gonna have like a 30 second break between these sets. These are four minute sets, there's gonna be three of them. So you really don't need an opportunity to drink. What you need to be focusing on is your deep, slow breaths. So let's go ahead and begin our warm up. So we'll start right now, deep breathing and bring those legs in and we're gonna start jogging in place. Here we go, nice and easy. As always, I am lightly touching my toes. I do not want to slam my feet into the floor. That might have this big range of motion on those shoulders. Touch that rib cage, touch that rib cage. That means that that elbow is going way back in the back. This is where I'm getting that range of motion on my shoulders. Get that mobility and flexibility going. Other than that, I'm just breathing. Nice two, two breath. Inhale, inhale, exhale, ex. Maybe you can always slow that down to like a three, three, which means just basically you're just taking one breath, but you're breaking it down to either two little pieces, or you and three pieces. And it's very rhythmical with the body. And with that said, we're gonna move to a jack right about here. Hands on the knees, open and close. Open and close. This is another coordinated breathing. So you wanna inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Sit up nice and tall. Big breaths. And of course, you can always go a little bit faster. You can always up your game and you can always slow it down. You move what feels good for you. But at the same time, remember, at the next 50 years of our life, where we are right now, we need to be working towards a moderate intensity level. Now, moderate intensity is not some magic number that you have to monitor on kind of an electronic device. That means that you need to be sweating, short of breath, heart beating. You got all three of those things going. That means that you're working at moderate intensity at your level, and that's the most important thing next to you. All right, right here, open up those legs. We got jumping squats. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Remember, always keep those knees up, bring them up into the armpit, and keep your feet wide. Do not bring them in. We're really trying to get that adductor, that inner muscle, makes those legs stronger, makes us a lot more secure, improves our balance. Big breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. What do we got coming up here? Oh, no. Got a little hopscotch for us. Those are always fun. You gotta think for these. All right, so right here, keep those legs open, hands at the chest. I'm gonna do right over cross, open and jump, legs wide. Left, open and jump. Right, open and jump. Left, open and jump. Once again, think fast, get that brain working with the body. It helps with that cognitive ability. Cross, open, jump. Cross, open, jump. Again, I can slow this down a little bit. And sometimes it's hard to lift both legs at the same time, and if that's the case, then lift one leg at a time. Lift, then lift, oh, cross it, open, lift, and lift. So always move at your own pace. Find a modification that you can do. Remember, no shame in your game. You're following these videos and you're exercising. Good for you. Oh, got ski jump coming up. Oh. And last one, feet on one side, hands on the other. More brain stuff here, here we go. Toss it over. Put my hands and my feet are always opposite. 
And notice those elbows are always up there at shoulder level. I'm always lightly touching that one shoulder. When we come to our band section, we're going to be mimicking this movement right here. Keep staying up tall, lifting up that chest, and breathe. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. About 20 seconds on the jumping jack. How are those legs feeling? Got a lot of movement going on with them this morning. Big breaths. And right here, jumping jack, feet together, hands on those knees. Big inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Watch out breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale, ex. Sit up tall. All right, about 30 seconds, we're gonna have a double jack with a double knee jump. We've done those before if you've been watching the videos. And definitely if you've been in class, you've seen them. 15 seconds. <sighs> Sit up tall. Try not to lean forward. Try not to lean back. <sighs> All right, here comes that double jack. So we got one, two, bring it all in, jump to those knees. One, two, jump, open, close, open, close, jump, open, close, open, close, jump, open, close, open, close, jump. How those legs feeling? I can feel mine. Open, close, open, close, jump. Open, close, open, close, jump. Get those knees up as high as you can. Woo. Woo. 10 seconds. We got burpee jacks coming up. More jumping. Does the legs good next 50. Right there, burpee jack. Open, jump, bring it back in. Open, jump with those hands up in the air. Those are the toughest jumps. <sighs> really challenges the entire body. <sighs> Once again, we're supposed to be working at moderate intensity next 15. Even if you're in a chair, it does not matter. You should be hitting moderate intensity. You should be sweating or moist. You should be a little bit short of breath and that heart should be beating. You should feel like you're exercising. <sighs> Close it up, open and jump. Close, open and jump. Close, open and jump. Close, open, almost there. Woo, this could be the last one. We're gonna pick up that band. <sighs> And last jump. Woo. Shake seven out. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. Let's go ahead and grab that band. We're going to start with some easy pass through. So, if you have the band with the handles, put your hand through there and grab all that edge. The same thing on the other side. This band stays soft at all times. We're not pulling. So, from this down position, my legs are open. It's going to go full extension up, over, pass through. Drop it down, relax. Full extension, up and over, drop and relax. Do not stay in that tight position. Tight, 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 relax. Tight, 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 relax. Now keep moving. Now remember, if you have shoulder issues and you cannot get over the top of that head, that's okay. Well, again, we're not stretching the band, we're simply working the scapula. So you would lift it up if you have shoulder issues. If you don't, keep passing through. If you have shoulder issues, keep this up here, band this off, squeeze your blades, 
let it go, relax. Lift it up as high as you can, squeeze your blades, drop it down, relax. Again, if you can pass it through, pass it through. Use it or lose it, literally. All right, one more, go come back to the front. All right, we're gonna draw our bow here. So this is my left hand. I'm gonna take my left hand all the way out here lateral to the side. With my right hand, I'm gonna reach over there and grab that band and I'm gonna pull it across just to my left shoulder. Notice this right elbow is in this upright position. I'm gonna to look to my left and keep looking to my left. I'm not looking around the room because I'm working my neck muscles. Take a nice big inhale here. <gasps> Exhale, pull that right hand all the way to the right shoulder. Inhale, relax. Don't snap that band. Inhale. <gasps> Exhale, pull, pull, pull. Keep looking to the left. Inhale, relax. <gasps> Exhale, pull, pull, pull. Big breaths here. Inhale, relax. <gasps> Exhale, pull. One more, big inhale, relax. <gasps> Exhale, pull. Low release, woo hoo, shake out those shoulders. Same thing, we'll switch this over to the right side so my right hand's all the way out lateral. My left hand's over here, I'm just gonna grab and pull this back to the right shoulder, that left elbow's up. Turn and look to the right and keep your head there. Nice big inhale. <gasps> Exhale. <sighs> So the left hand, for example, I'm simply pulling from my left shoulder. Oh, exhale to my right shoulder. Oh, actually, to my right shoulder, so to my left. Big inhale. Oh, exhale, pull. Exhale, pull. Keep looking, keep looking. Don't be looking around the room. Uh, Good, work on those neck muscles. Uh, last pull, inhale, relax. Uh, exhale, pull. And slow release, woo -hoo. All right, we can put that down, kind of forget about it for now. We're gonna start our first set. So if you're gonna take a drink, your drink's gonna be right now. Because after we start these sets, we only have 30 seconds of pause between our four minute workouts. So you're not really gonna have a lot of time to be drinking anything. So to start first, we're gonna need those dumbbells and we got some weighted jumping squats. So we warmed up with those, so those legs are wide, the weight is down, and we're gonna be all the way over the top of the head with a nice big jump. All right, so are you ready? Here's the tone on three, two, one. Inhale, X. Inhale. So once again, my elbows are bent up. You know, if you feel like you can push these over the top of the head, absolutely, you know, always challenge yourself. See what you can do. If you have shoulder issues, you know, lift them up as high as you can, drop them down, kind of lift them up, we'll roll that little tiny bicep curl. Or if you can get them up to, you know, forehead, that's great. <gasps> Big thing here is breathing. <gasps> Sit up tall. <gasps> Again, if you can't push all the way, then push all the way. <sighs> always aim for arms and ears if you're pushing. <sighs> you may not always reach it, but that's what we're always thinking about doing, getting those arms and ears side by side. <sighs> all right, a little pause right here. Woo! Foot distance apart, weight distance. We got push presses, palms are facing. Here we go. We're gonna push and relax. Push and relax. When I come down and relax, that, that elbow is really down. Everything's relaxed here. Then I got push, I got that nice big beautiful arm and ear reach. So don't just lift up, push like you're trying to touch the sky. Push. You're trying to straighten out that arm. <sighs> If you feel like your arm doesn't totally straighten out, it's because you probably lost some muscle mass. So we want we want to push and get that full extension. Remember, in our next 50, muscle mass and bone density, 
some of the very important things to pay attention to, which is why we lift weights in Next 50 Living. We don't need this low intensity stuff. This is not doing us any favors. We need that moderate intensity, guys. Woo. Right here, put those weight right there, deadlift. So you're just going straight down. Big inhale, all the way down, touch the floor, look ahead, and sit back up. That's it. Down and up. I'm not moving my shoulders. I'm not moving my elbows. This is all about hinging on my hips. So that means I'm working my hips and I'm working that lower back, keeping my chest up. I'm not curling my spine. I'm always looking slightly forward, comfortably on the neck. So just inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Great back stretch. It's an easy pose, but once again, boy, does it really, oh, elegate that spine. Really get those hips woke up. I got six seconds. We have a weighted jack, so we'll be doing our jumping jack with weights. Feet are together. Weights are here. I'm going to open and close. So these weights are going from a vertical position to a horizontal, and my elbow is going from my waistline to my shoulder. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now remember, this weighted shoulder position is really good, especially if you're concerned about your shoulders. If you're not concerned about your shoulders, then get your hands all the way up. Just kind of slow it down. There's no reason to go fast here. And notice again that my elbows are bent. My palms are facing forward. And that lift. But again, nice and comfortable here. Really working that deltoid head, that little cap on the shoulder. Making those arms strong. All right, we got a 30 second break coming up. Again, there's really no reason to drink anything. We wanna stay focused on getting that heart rate up, getting that breathing going. Trying to get you to sweat a little bit. All right, right there, we got 30 seconds on the clock. So nice and tall, let me reset the clock. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. All right, when we come back here, which is not going to be very long, we got our push up. Now, remember that push up is here at shoulder level. My palms are forward. I'm going to go easy up 45 and isometrically. I have to pull back as tight as I can. And that pull back is very, very important. So don't get lazy here. So here we go. Short break. I said, hands up, palms facing. Easy up 45. Inhale. Now pull back as tight, 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 tight as you can. Whoop, relax. Inhale. Oh. Once again, this is very important that you squeeze. You pull like you're resisting. Mm. This is called a push-up. So this is like if you were on the floor. <laughs> Heavens forbid you fall down, you find yourself on the floor. <gasps> you're going to need mm, the upper body strength to push you up. Uh, you know, get to a chair. To get you back up right again. So inhale, easy. Tight. Inhale, easy. Squeeze. Woo, I'm sweating. I'm getting hot. Because I'm really pushing back. Squeeze. Woo. All right, bring those legs back down. Woo, I got tired there. Laterals, palms are facing my body, up and down. Make sure that you stay at shoulder level. Turn around and look and make sure your hands are not going over the top of your shoulders, which means I can be anywhere down here. Again, if I got shoulder issues, this is important. But do not go over the top. Inhale, You can even slow these down for the next, next set. Inhale, exhale, 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 inhale, relax. Exhale, 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 inhale, relax. 
Exhale, exhale, exhale. I like doing weightlifting holds better. Oh, exhale, exhale, exhale. I really work a lot harder. Sure, it's more challenging, but I see better results. I'm a lot stronger. Woo, right there. Bring those weights to the chest. We have our hopscotch again. So open up. We are cross open and jump. Left over and jump. Right over and jump. So I'm just keeping those weights on my chest. They are literally touching my chest. Oh, and I'm sitting up tall. If that weight is on your chest, you probably feel your belly kind of getting really tight here. And that's what we're aiming for. Working that core, working those legs. And that brain, left, open, jump, right, open, jump. Left, open, jump, right, open, jump. Woo -hoo. Ah. You hit moderate intensity yet? Again, are you sweating or moist? Is your heart beating? Is it a little bit short of a breath? So if you had to talk, you'd have to stop and take a breath in the middle of the sentence. Woo, right there. Mm. Jack, bring those hands in once again. Legs in, sorry. We're going to open and close. Way to Jack. <sighs> Nothing gets your heart rate up better than weightlifting. And when you can throw in that cardio component, like a way to jump and jack, even better. Weightlifting is a hundred times better in your next 50 years of life than simply doing aerobics alone. And again, you know, the aerobics helps, you know, jumping jack is great because it's getting our heart rate up and it's helping us breathe deep. But the weightlifting, once we get to be over the age of 50, we start losing bone density and muscle mass. And that's where the weightlifting comes in and why it's so important for us to be pushing these weights. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Almost there, stay with me. Right there guys, 30 seconds. Again, there's no reason to be taking a drink here. Sit up tall, no sitting in the back of that chair. If you got a chair with a back, don't touch the back of that chair, even for your rest, doesn't matter. Keeping that core, that front and that back engaged. I grab those weights. This is our last four minute set. We got some sumo, so those heads are touching. We're just gonna be going all the way down and coming back up to collarbone, elbows high. You ready? Here it goes. So right here, gonna drop down, inhale. Exhale, collarbone, pull, pull, pull those elbows. Inhale, exhale. Get those elbows up there above the top of your head. That weight stops below your chin, right there, collarbone. Inhale, exhale, lean all the way forward, flat back. Again, working that spine. Just hinging, we've already hinged with that deadlift. Again, I'm always looking slightly forward. Really pulling on those spinal erectors and abdominal erectors, AKA your core. Big breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Woo! One way distance apart. We got bicep curls, palms are forward, elbows in that waistline. Up and down, that's it guys, sit up tall. Again, that elbow stays glued in. It never separates from your body. It stays tight. We're trying to isolate the movement from the shoulder all the way down to the elbow. We're really moving from just the elbow to that wrist with that weight in it. <gasps> Sit up tall, do not move the body. Do not use the body to hoist that weight up. Sit up strong, strong like your back is on the wall. <gasps> <sighs> 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 
Ooh, 20 seconds left for these curls. If you need to rest in curls, you rest here. Do not rest in the down, rest here. And then start again. Do not rest in the down. You rest in the down, boy, it's hard to get them back up again. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, inhale, and we got another weighted jack. So bring everything in, weights on the chest, elbows down. And here we go, jack it out. <sighs> Open and close. <gasps> Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. So once again, I get that elbow and that waistline and then it goes up to shoulder level, but if you feel strong enough, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit, and open up those hands and see if you can tap those weights lightly just over the top of the head. It doesn't have to be a big range of motion here. Once again, notice what I'm doing, I'm slowing down considerably. Our stay in a nice comfort zone, really work that deltoid. <sighs> Sit up tall. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're almost at the end, guys. Don't give up now. Ten seconds, we're going to put the weights down. Everybody loves that. Three seconds, almost there. Woo, put those weights down. We got another jack. <laughs> Hands on those knees. Here we go. Big inhale. Oh, and open. Oh, feels much better without those weights. Huh? I got a big full range of motion. Kind of relax those arms a little bit. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Again, as always, I can up it. If you feel like your heart's slowing down a little bit, you know, you speed it up. You can even do those little five second speed jacks. Knock them out for five seconds as fast as you can, as fast as you can, as fast as you can. And slow it back down. And do another little speed jack, just five seconds. Really challenge yourself. And then slow it back down again. 15 seconds. Let's do one more speed jack just for fun. Here it comes. And speed jack as fast as you can. Only five seconds. And I slow it back down. And we are, yay, in recovery. Woo. Let me go ahead and reset this clock. Woo. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Open up those legs, nice, comfortable. Hands up, collarbones, shoulders, and elbows. Inhale deeply, turn, exhale, look behind you. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, switch sides. Inhale, switch sides. Now remember, it's very important that you're constantly looking back there behind your shoulder. Do not be looking straight ahead. Neck muscles and eye muscles. Inhale, switch. Remember, there's neck muscles and eye muscles looking over that shoulder. I always call those the driving muscles because we need that when we're driving. Or even as a passenger, we need to assist the driver by looking behind us and looking to see if the coast is clear. Inhale, switch. Exhale. And let's come back to our center. We're going to finish out with a cross-legged position. A little bit of challenging, but it's great for circulation. So we're going to bring the legs in as close as we can. Tight, tight, tight. Lift up your right and cross the legs as close to the groin as possible and cross. Very tight, much tighter than you would if you were sitting at a table. Then see if you can cross your ankles. Okay, and this is a little bit challenging, but I know from chair class, a lot of you are able to do this. But if you can, by all means, if you're unable to get that cross, try to pull that leg as close to the other leg as possible. And if you can't quite get this tight groin, then cross it over. And in this position, you can cross the ankle over. Just kind of don't push anything, just kind of sit up and you know, eventually kind of work it that you're going to get in that nice tight cross position. All right, with that said, let's uncurl that and shake it out. Again, butt cheeks, knees, and feet are tight. Bring that left up as close to the groin as possible. Tight, tight, tight. Wrap the ankle around. Sometimes we can do one side. Sometimes we can't do the other side, and that's completely normal. Usually one side of the body is a little bit different from the other side of the body. 
But this is why we work both sides to help bring them back in. So once again, if you can't quite get the ankle, get that foot as close to the leg as possible, or try to get this cross-legged position as best that you can, all the way sitting up nice and tall. And let's uncurl that. And there you go. So this is a short routine. So by all means, do this twice. Remember, if you're repeating this routine, do not do the recovery. Recovery is the very last thing that you do when you are finished. So if you're repeating this a second time or a third time, yee -hee, then start at the top, start at the warm up again, and come all the way back through. And then when you feel like you're done, then do your recovery. As always, next 50, thank you so much for joining me and thank you for supporting and subscribing to this YouTube channel. Until next time, stay happy, healthy, and whole.